Let's take a look at a few methods to select and move components. If we were to select our object and want and we want it to select uh, points, we can easily go over to the select panel over here, uh, click points, and we'll have access to the point component. And we can go ahead and make our selection. Um, there are various uh, different uh, tools you can use and different modes you can use for selection. I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm just going to kind of point out uh, one over here, one mode, which is the point mode, which will allow us to enter into point uh, the point filter and allow us to use the rectangular marquee tool, which can be found here, which is uh, on by default. So um, if I were to go ahead hit spacebar, this is going to toggle me between my object filter. And if I hit T, it's going to bring me to my point filter with the marquee selection tool. So um, if you find yourself uh, needing to move, um, let's say, these points over here, um, you'll probably end up hitting T, make this selection, and now you're in a situation where um, you're only in a selection mode. So if you want to move your components, you're going to need to enter the Move tool. So if I hit V on my keyboard or hit this T over here, um, I'll be able to translate my components. Now, um, people from other packages may be more familiar with a different type of moving system um, because, uh, well, I say this because um, <clears throat> right now we're only in a Move tool. So so if I come, uh, if I go ahead and uh, press outside of the manipulator you can see I'm doing a simple transform now um, this may be quite frustrating since every time you're going to want to select new components you're going to need to um, either tap the T key grab uh, new components and then tap the V key or you can uh, enable sticky keys so if I were to just press and hold down the T key this is going to allow me to select whichever components that I want um, and if I need to deselect or if I need to move I can go ahead and let go of the T key and this is going to bring me back automatically to the last uh, the, the last tool that I was in uh, the last manipulator so or last mode um, so in this case I was in the translate mode so I can go ahead and uh, translate and if I want to select more points I can hold down T grab these points let go of T and I'm able to move these points so this makes um, uh, the default method of moving components uh, a little bit easier but if you're uh, again if you used a, another package where you can uh, you can select points and then move them at the same time uh, then there's going to be a uh, another method uh, that's going to be more familiar to you so in order to access it we're going to need to go to transform and then transform preferences and here um, what we're going to be concerned with is uh, just this option here click outside uh, manipulator so if we go ahead and change this to select tool what this is going to allow us to do um, you can see that we're in a uh, we have the transform mode uh, on um, when I click outside the manipulator it will no longer um, it will no longer tran do a simple transform it's going to allow us to do our selection so we can go ahead um, make our selection and move and this is going to be more similar to programs like Maya where once you enter uh, vert mode you're able to select your vertices and move them uh, but always remember that you all uh, you also have access to the tweak tool which can be found over under component tweak component tool or you can just use the hotkey M so if we were to hit M we can just go ahead and just grab these points and move them you can grab any uh, you can grab verts, edges, and polys um, uh, at your will. So um, there's a lot more involved with the tweak tool, but uh, this is just an easy way to move your components.